Hey, this is Severe. People have been asking me how to make macros on Rift, so I'm going to make a video to show you all. Okay, so making macros is basically like any other MMO. First, you want to get to the menu screen, it's usually escape. Go to, there's usually a macros option. Uh, so you click on that, you click click on the new one, like a new tab, click that little button there, choose your icon, doesn't have to be any specific icon, but uh, you can make it look nice, nice if you want to, uh, I'll have, I think I have this one, okay, and then you name it wherever you want, I'll name this one uh, Keen Strike. So now for the commands. To cast a spell, you have to do slash cast exactly like that. Space your spell. So this one will be keen strike, because I'm just gonna do a keen strike macro. Keen strike. And then that should be it. Uh that's just a very, very basic macro. Like this I wouldn't even count this as a macro. But uh, I'll just just for the basics show you how it's done. I'll now use this in combat. Okay, so now we'll be uh, putting the macro we just made in practice. So if I've done this right, we should do Keen Strike when I click this button. Sacro this mob. So this should do Keen Strike. And yep, just Keen Strike. Let's try it again. And that's basically just macroing. Okay, so uh, we're going to make a little bit more of a complicated one now. You do. Uh, I'll show you my latest one that I've made. It's in my also in my new PvP video. If you haven't seen that, uh, you should check that one out as well. This one's uh, called Keen Dusk, just because I've got the spells Keen Strike and Dust Strike in it. I've basically I've put in all these spells, and they don't actually go in that order. The way they go is from energy cost. If you've got the cut the, the cost of the energy to cast it, it'll do that one. So say if I haven't got the energy to cast dusk, it'll cast keen instead. If I haven't got the energy to cast that, it'll cast quick strike and so on. I've done reprisal at the bottom because that only costs uh ten energy. Yep, so it only costs ten energy, so when that buffs uh comes up, uh that that'll do that automatically if I click the macro. Also, if I click E Bomb Fury, which uh, reduces my energy of my Twilight Force and my Dust Strike by 50%, which means my Dust Strike, if I click that, I always, if I keep on clicking my macro, it'll do Dust Strike over and over again because that'll be the least amount of mana out of all these. So, uh, so you just basically you just gotta pull them in the right order, and it should be pretty effective. Okay, for this next macro, I've gone on my mage, as it's easier to show you. This is going to be a stop casting macro. So, go back on our macro screen. Click the icon. To name it stop casting. Okay, so this one's very simple. Slash stop casting. Exactly like that. Save. Put it on your action bar. Okay, so say if I decided I didn't want to attack this, uh, like that, I'd click stop casting and it stop casting. It's a very simple macro, but it can be very effective. Say if um, an enemy's running up towards you, and maybe they're getting a bit too close, you want to stay, keep your distance, rather like risk the uh, movement, you just stop casting and run or strafe. Uh, yeah, that's the very simple macro. So that this one. next macro is going to be a macro that lets you cast a spell and buff yourself at the same time with an instant cast that has no cooldown. That's very important. These spells have to have no cooldown. So, well, no global cooldown these. Open up this, make a new one. So, 
Let's do a twilight one. Twilight force plus buff. Okay, so the first thing you do, do the hash sign and show. Then you do your spell, which is twilight force for me. And then that should come up. So uh, the next one you've got to do is slash cast twilight force. Can't spell it. Then slash cast. And this one has to be the one with no global cooldown. And I have even fury for that. So slash cast even fury. Okay, so now save that bring it down to your bar I'm now going to replace that with my actual twilight force button so now I've got it key bound as well let's try and find some mobs there we go so now when I click my key bind it should do the Ebon fury and twilight force at the same time there you go. And I can keep on clicking it to cast my spell. So just finish this guy off. So that's that. It's uh, quite an easy macro once you get the hang of it. You can experiment with some of your spells. Uh, some work better than others. Uh, but you can find some pretty effective ones. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you've learned something about crows, or find them a little bit easier at least, they're easier to manage. Uh, remember to hit the subscribe button as I will be bringing out more Rift videos, maybe some commentaries, I'm not too sure yet.